Good evening everyone, we are MC Thamarasan here from Chennai Event MCs, Chennai Event Entertainers and Chennai Event Professionals, Event MC, MC Trainer, MC Manager and the founder of the above brands. When I shot a couple of uh, one minute live videos uh, two days back, uh, after sharing that with my friends, a couple of my friends, they asked me, am I going to stop uh, doing my long lives, uh, lengthy lives and am I going to restrict with only one minute videos? First of all, the reason what I said in the one minute videos was uh, uh, we, we had an interaction uh, with uh, uh, legend MC Marian and uh, she was giving us some tips and one of the tips was to attract the audience because today people don't have much time they always want to take something quick and they want to see something quick so she advised us that uh, it's good to go for 30 seconds to 45 seconds to one minute video that will attract attract the audience in fact i took that feedback and uh, that's the reason i took the one minute video but that that alone is not the reason for shooting any videos that is i mean um or just one minute alone cannot be good for all sort of audience so that's what i'm going to explain in the live over here so basically i explained in my third video also for whom the one minute video is it's mainly for the instagram and also the whatsapp status update because instagram doesn't allow you to post more than one minute and uh, whatsapp status update doesn't allow you to post more than 30 seconds you need to make it as the second post or the second update so you can make your videos crisp and short uh, so that you can fit it in for uh, instagram and whatsapp status update but if you have seen my any other marketing videos i i'm a person who would have said that more than a WhatsApp status update, something what you do in Facebook, Google, your website, uh, YouTube, all of the things play a vital role in your marketing because when you do a WhatsApp status update, when you update something in WhatsApp status, it's just for 24 hours. After that, it's gone and now others are not going to see. Same way in Instagram stories, earlier it was like it vanishes in 24 hours, but now at least you can save it. And any other platform, the marketing platform, what I talk about, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, um, Medium, Pinterest, uh, Quora and lot of this as I have been telling uh, I have been using at least 10 to 15 different social media and lot of people they think that um, uh, what I do in Facebook that's the only marketing I do or that is the only way I contact people just because they are not in the other medium they are not aware what I am doing in the other medium as I said in the beginning or just before some time these are the other social media where I am in apart from my website I maintain at least 20 different websites uh, for myself for my brand uh, for our trainees uh, for so many their purpose and also I maintain 10 different Facebook pages and also maintain 10 different YouTube channels apart from my other social media presence. So which means I need to upload a lot of content in my social media pages and also in my other social media platform. So obviously I will not restrict myself with shooting one minute video. And also most of my friends also suggested me that it's good always to go for one minute video and also to restrict your videos uh, one video in a week or one video in a month or once in a year. These are the suggestions they give which I would not agree at all because in fast uh, going marketing world now you have to share a lot of knowledge and more than marketing uh, first of all let me tell you what is the purpose i'm shooting videos in fact i wanted to do it as a separate live but i will share a couple of tips over here what is the reason i'm doing lives i mean not only live videos any recorded video also first thing i value add value to people when i talk in my live i either talk about uh, event industry or about general thing which would be useful for the public uh, general audience so when it come for event industry I talk to clients, I explain them what event industry is all about so that when they get to know about what event industry is about, they can give business to any event professionals, not only me or my team, they can give business to any event professionals when they understand the role of the event manager and an MC for their events. So that's the first thing, I educate my clients. Second thing, I share a lot of uh, tips for my fellow MCs and other event professionals which they can use for themselves, whether it's related to marketing, whether it's related to skill development or something uh, trending in the industry. So I share this content so that they can uh, get benefit out of it. Third thing, I talk to event managers sharing the concerns about the MCs and uh, sharing the challenges about MCs. And I talk to MCs through my lives and videos sharing the challenges for the event managers. So in this way, I help my clients to understand the event industry. I help my event managers to understand the concerns of MCs. I help my fellow MCs to understand the importance and the challenges of the event managers and other event professionals. These are the ways I try to educate them so that we have a healthy, smooth relationship in the industry and we take it to the next higher level. So this is the first thing what I do. I add value to um, people. A lot of people used to say that you people just talk, you don't uh, do it. I don't understand what they mean by uh, when, I, when they say I just talk or we just talk. If at all I'm going to share everything about me and if it's not going to be useful for others, then it's just talking. These people are not doers. But what are the video I share? For example, even this video where I'm explaining about the uh, YouTube concept. So that will be useful for someone who can shoot the videos. Like what are the tips I'm going to give it, give you? You can apply it for your own career, for your personal life. Same way, 
any of your videos i can say 90 to 95 percent of my videos definitely it will add value to one or other persons hardly five percent of my videos may not be useful for others but it would be definitely useful for a couple of people like when i'm traveling to outstation i uh, share an uh, update saying that uh, i'm traveling to outstation that may be irrelevant for a lot of the people but people who are there in the particular city that's relevant for them and they come and meet me i go and meet them and we create a bonding so same way at least 90 to 95 percent of my videos are useful to others we add value so uh, I would not I wouldn't agree the point that I would not agree the complaint that we are just talkers we are not doers I would never agree that because we add value so that's the first thing we add value through video second thing our video acts as a marketing material this a lot of people don't uh, understand a lot of people ask us why do you shoot so many videos and put it in a YouTube channels when people are not even going to see we don't bother about the people who are uh, uh, who are in our friends list but who are not seeing these videos even for the facebook live a lot of time people ask me you don't have any viewers or list viewers during your live what is the point of doing the live but my point is after completing this live it is going to come as the recorded version few people are going to see i am going to download the live edit it and put it in my youtube channel my website and a lot of the place so this one video would be shared across different platform and at least 20 to 25 places apart from this facebook uh, a page where I'm doing the live so which means it acts as a wonderful marketing material where it reaches to a lot of people and also very importantly when people search online my videos pop up my videos on my team members video you can check it online you can go to YouTube or you can go to Google type MCs in Chennai or corporate MCs in Chennai mail MCs any of the important keywords related to event industry if you search there at least three to five videos or three to five uh, links of us would pop up in Google. If you go to YouTube, definitely I can guarantee you that um, eight out of 10 videos would be our video, either mine, Nandini, or my team members, Lambo, Aravind, or any of those videos would be there. So this is how we built our brand. We started getting business out of YouTube and also through other social media channel. So which a lot of people don't understand because a lot of uh, people in the industry, they understand the outbound marketing where they reach to someone, they tell them about them, um, and that's how they get the business but my business model what i learned from my mentor dr maharaj is people search for me like people search for birthday party anchor in chennai people search for corporate mc in chennai most of my event managers are across india not even from chennai some of the event managers are from chennai most of the event managers when they search across the country when an event manager from delhi they want an mc in chennai when they search online they find my website or they find my youtube channel so this is how i've been getting business which a lot of the mcs or a lot of the even professionals are not aware and hence they are asking us the question why are you shooting more videos and why are you making yourself available anytime for people because i would never stop the uh, now never take this advice because first thing as i said we keep adding value to people so we do not to restrict ourselves from giving the knowledge to others second thing we keep getting business out of this marketing so at any point of time i do not to stop shooting these videos or uploading these videos in my youtube channel if you find these tips useful definitely you can also start doing such thing and now coming back to the topic am i going to restrict myself with one minute video definitely not as i said it's going to be useful for instagram and whatsapp status update but all other portals like facebook youtube linkedin everyone has their own norms like the video has to be so and so specific specification for example any video lesser than five minutes in youtube definitely uh, it's not I, again it's not a proven method or something uh, i can say that this is what it's all about but you can test it uh, most of the videos lesser than five minutes which will not come under search engine optimization in youtube same way facebook has its own restriction like uh, video has to be minimum this many minutes same way linkedin has so every platform has a restriction that you should have minimum content in these videos but uh, just like that if you are going to have the same video across uh, everywhere 30 seconds video or one minute video definitely it's not going to help you in the other platform and sometimes you make it negative scoring also you not get a, a right visibility for your videos so understand different platforms and do the marketing accordingly when i say marketing people don't understand that usually uh, simple terms i can see you don't get business and you keep approaching someone for your your events uh, rather than doing that start focusing on your marketing start uh, updating your posts start shooting videos start updating articles right uh, write to your blogs and keep sharing it uh, two things are very important content creation and content distribution content creation is nothing but what i do now the video recording it's a content creation and how i'm going to spread it across the social media that is called as a content distribution this is what very important about marketing uh, if you like to learn it definitely you can approach me or my mentor dr maharaja we will be glad to help you of course commercial should be involved thank you so much for watching this live you can contact me on my mobile number 9003087198 do visit our website chennaiwanprofessionals.com and also like our Facebook page chennaiwanprofessionals. Thank you so much. Good night. Stay blessed.